We're getting real spooky with these guys, real spooky. Hi guys, I'm Genshin Kenshin. Thank you guys for coming up to another video. If you guys could please make that like button blue right down below, hit the subscribe button. I know this is like really annoying, but I have to remind you guys, it really does help out my statistics when I do so before the video like this. So I'm going to try it just like how everybody else is doing it, okay? A 36-year-old woman is behind bars and the male suspect has been shot dead after officers stumbled upon the grisly killing which is said to have started with a dating app, which I always say that if you guys are on these dating apps, this is the woman here, um, but if you guys are ever on these dating apps, man, be careful. Make sure you do your research with these people. Meet them in public places for the first few dates, like very public places, not like parks or anything. I mean, freaking Starbucks or something. Even then, make sure that you have some protection on you. Just ensure that you're going to be safe around these people because you don't know these people. You don't know what they're capable of. You don't know what they're going to do to you. A 36-year-old Indiana woman is behind bars after police discovered two people tied up and shackled in her home, one of them deceased and beyond help. The woman identified by Evansville authorities as Heidi Carter faces a string of charges in connection with the Tuesday night incident which police say took even them by surprise. It all began after a woman flagged down an Indiana state trooper late Tuesday night saying she'd stopped by Carter's home and only to find a dead body inside. Evansville Police Department spokeswoman Sergeant Anna Gray told reporters late Wednesday the woman said she'd go to the home to help clean ahead of an inspection and took a seat on a pile of blankets only to realize that under the blankets was a dead body. And affidavit says according to the Evansville Courier and Press. She ran out of the house screaming and alerted authorities, state police, and officers from the Evansville Police Department responded around 11 p.m. assuming they were dealing with a possible kidnapping and murderer. Imagine you're coming in, it's a work day, you're a cleaning lady, you're just like really just trying to clean, get your stuff done, get your paycheck, you're coming in, you're, you just sit down for a second and oh, it's warm, soft, fleshy type of stuff going on under the blankets. You're looking, what the heck, what's going on? You uncover the blankets, there's a dead body there. You're like, holy crap. And then you start running out, you're going crazy. You're just running, you go outside. You're screaming at the top of your lungs. You're like, oh my God, somebody the dead, oh my God. You know, it's like, Jesus Christ. Um, also, if you're in a situation like that, anyway, it's like, don't scream. Don't make it known that you know that there's a dead body there, unless you know 100% that you're safe and that there's nobody there. Because if you're just going into a house and you're cleaning and stuff like that, how did that body get there is going to be your main question and usually that body is there because somebody killed them and that person is usually the owner of the house so you should be calmly exiting the house acting like you don't know shit and then calling the police and then telling them and then you'll be safe but if that person who just killed that person is there or that person who had killed a person because we don't know yet if they were just killed at that time or you know been sitting there for a few weeks or whatever but that person who had killed that person, if they were still there, hmm, odds are they might want to clean up the loose ends, you know? Once they arrived, things took a bizarre turn. Carter was located outside with a gun, police said. She told them there were still several people inside the home, and officers began issuing commands for those inside to come out, starting with one unidentified man who complied and was released. A second man that came out and has said to have rushed out of the front door in an aggressive manner with an object in his hands that he pointed at police. He was fatally shot by several officers in what Gray says appears to be a suicide by cop situation. Officers then entered the home and found a woman who had been tied up shackled and has visual visible injuries gray said another individual was located inside the residence but unfortunately was deceased and beyond help the manner of death appeared suspicious and gruesome he had been restrained duct tape beaten and strangled she said jesus christ these guys are these guys are ruthless the shocking turn of events which also played out i like that these uh you know when i'm doing this uh, highlight it's red really gets this blood and gore type of theme going. The shocking turn of events was also played out with two teenagers in the upstairs of the home who were later safely evacuated took officers by surprise, said Gray. According to the affidavit, investigators later determined that Carter had met both victims on a dating app and invited them over, but the male suspect who was shot at the scene had arrived home during their sexual activity. Jesus. 
He allegedly beat up both guests with a baseball bat before he and Carter chained up the two victims. He also tied and shackled a female victim while the male suspect raped her multiple times throughout the day. From October 19th to October 20th, Gray said. The extent of the female's victim injuries was not immediately clear, but police said she had been hospitalized. Carter, who has been booked into the Vanderburgh County Jail, faces preliminary charges of criminal confinement and abuse of a corpse. Jesus Christ. These guys are really just like evil sons of bitches. Like, goddamn, you have to be an evil son of a bitch to do something like this. This is just a... Uh pointless, pointless violence. It was not immediately clear if police were also weighing whether to charge her with murder. While Carter was reportedly found brandishing a gun at the scene, she told investigators she had only gone along with the male suspect and restraining the victims out of fear he might harm her. Yeah, tough shit, okay? Yeah, I really believe that you didn't know that these motherfuckers would be crazy enough to do something like this. You knew. You knew. You're not a fucking victim. The male suspect has yet to be identified, but police said he is believed to have a criminal history. And that's the other story. People are horrible. You gotta keep yourself safe in these situations. I mean, these people are just crazy. They are insane. They will hurt you. So yeah, that's the story. This has been Genshin Kenshin. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you guys dislike this video, please share it to one of your most hated enemies. Maybe they will like it. I will see you guys in the next one. Please consider subscribing if you guys haven't. Peace.